Anything worth having takes time to get. P been in this business. P, what you say? Your business been going for 12 years now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12? Yeah. Okay. How many of them years wasn't the best that you, and you, sometimes you might feel like giving up, but guess what? You got to have patience. Man, Man it's going to get better. Just be cool. Sometimes it ain't going to work. You may have a four month run where you're going crazy. Mm-hmm. And then 60 days, 90 days, that shit ain't hitting on nothing. Mm-hmm. And you like, damn, I want to give up because it seems like everything is, but guess what? Have patience. It takes patience. And it's hard to it's hard to to uh have it because we 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 we're in a microwave, a microwave way of living. We want everything here now, right now. You got Amazon Prime, I can order it right now to be here in a few hours or be here tomorrow. We want instant results. Life does not offer. The things of value, let me say that correctly. Things of value does not offer, does not come immediately off immediate results. Anything worth having, anything of value worth having is going to take time, patience, and dedication for you to obtain it and achieve it. Because if you get it too fast, you don't appreciate it. You can be outside on a corner selling dope make a thousand dollars in five minutes you will spend that thousand dollars in 10 minutes or five minutes on some bullshit because you know you can go get it right back but if you go to work and work 80 hours and make that thousand dollars you're gonna take your time like a motherfucker and start counting out where you spending this thousand dollars at because it just took your time have patience in what you do and anything that you're going to move with make sure patience is number one Go ahead. Pete. One thing is one of my best practices that I trained myself on that I had on my 30 day goal sheet years and years ago, early on when I was uh, probably like two or three years in, one of my things I was working on was my patience. And I think mm-hmm. I reverted it a couple of times. I'd never had patience unless you're talking about a little baby from back in the day who. Uh, <laughs> Little mama, little mama, was just patience, boy. No, I'm just joking. I ain't never. Anyway, look at all the girls. I know her too. I know her. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was one of the things that I actually had to work on. So it's funny um, when you relate that to you know me with my business and all that. I actually one of the things I had to work on was my patience because that's I didn't have it, I, and I didn't, and I'm talking about with people. So. Mm-hmm. Observing people, and like I said, what I do for a living, I found out I actually, what I, 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 I'm studying people, and I learned I had to have patience in order to do that with inside my home and inside the gym. So it's something I worked on. Question: Have you ever seen a person's soul? Have you ever seen a person's spirit? Have you ever been talking to someone and you can see their spirit? Because people talk about soulmates all the time, like they soulmate. You mentioned soulmate, right? But how often do people actually, when they're talking to somebody, see past the beauty, see past the money, and like, I can see this person's spirit. It is, I don't think that happens. Like, it's not a, it's not a normal thing to happen. I've had that happen before, but so... If you have seen it, if you have had that happen, you was talking to somebody and you thought you was going to talk to them because of how they look, but then you saw their spirit and it was something different than how they look. What if that's not the person that you with? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that, again, that that's all tied, right? Um, I'll tell you, one day I walked into a, or one day I went into a, uh, 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 an event, and I seen a person um, there. And similar to what you say, you 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 go in there off of, hey, I'm going to see this person. This person has this physique, right? That's the, the that's the word I'm gonna use, right? Uh, she she's super thick right like all right i'm gonna uh, all right I, I like the body but 
upon interaction, it was damn. And now you don't like, even know if you're sexually attracted no more. Right. Because it just no, I, mean, I think the sexual attraction is still gonna be there. I just think <laughs> I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna, I mean, but, in that moment of the realization moment, of this because the shit what happens is time stops. I'm like, wait a minute. Damn, I think you just you know what I'm saying? And when you that when you get to that point where you It's now different. you now you start to question like, wait a minute, am I with the wrong person? Am, am I doing something wrong? Because this, you you feel like you're supposed to. So then you start asking. Now that comes to the question, you know, uh, is that your person's soul? Is that your soulmate? Is this your twin flame? Is this is this your person? Is this your person? How do you proceed? What, what, let me ask this now. Once you once you experience that, how do you proceed? Well, are you supposed to have more than one? More than one soulmate? Or more than one woman? Or more than one man? Have you more than one man? I have a person look at it. Is is it is it is it only one? That's why I pose that question. Because the other part. So it is, is it only one? Most people will say, absolutely, you're only supposed to have one. But I know some people who would say, no. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's, it, it gets, it, it's kind of, it, you know, in society, you have one. And that's it. And that's all. Now, that was, that's one question. Are you only supposed to have one? That's like the easy way out. But to more directly, answer your question and not take the easy way out and say, are you supposed to have one? Maybe that person isn't an intimate partner. Maybe mm -hmm. they're just a friend. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can have that person in your life without being intimate. Can you control mm -hmm. the intimate part to get the more important thing that you saw in that person? Or do you have to act on the intimacy? Mm. What if intimacy, what, 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 what if, what if, shit, nigga, nigga, got a nigga over here stutter, nigga, what if, what if, what if uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say, nigga. It's shit, real shit uh, that people don't really talk about and necessarily say open, you know what I'm saying? Well, um, I'm gonna say it would depend on how far she is, bro. Really, yeah, you know what I'm saying, and really, <laughs> like you laughing, but yeah, nigga, <laughs> you know. Yeah, what I'm saying? seeing a soul, but I'm trying to see. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying, trying to get see, it I'm one time. To see yeah, I got to get it at least on, one time. <laughs> but on the flip side, though, uh, uh, with with that though, because attraction, because again, the attraction has to be there, right? For y'all to even, it got to be something to be attracted to. So, how do you know? How do you know which? What what you know? What I'm saying what the uh, was you really attracted to the spirit right. in the first place, and you thought that it was the physique. Now, what if you see this person and you like, damn, it's you. It's you. You're the one I'm supposed to be with. It's you. That's what I just felt right there. It's you. You're the one. Then what? And you with somebody else? Yeah, you're a name. Either oh, or. Or Oh, well, if you're not with nobody else, I mean, this makes it a little, that shit, it makes it, that's a blessing. Go, boy, you better go do what you, you better make, do your thing if you ain't with somebody. But if you are, you probably Erica Badu. I guess see you I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, again, so uh, I think. But it's a rare thing. It's a rare thing, it's but a rare it, it's thing. a real thing. It's rare, but it's real.
and what happened when you what happens when you get there do you do you pursue it or let's say uh you you in that 45 year i'm i'm feeling like shit oh and and then you got this person right here and it's like yeah i don't know what the fuck just happened but you're it <laughs> it's you what is that thing? yeah <laughs> right yeah. like yeah. I, I came in here looking at your ass but what you're it <laughs> i don't want to talk to you like that now i want to listen to you i want to i can't even right when you first was talking i couldn't even hear words that was coming out your mouth because your spirit was fucking talking to me and i couldn't even hear you or see you for like the last seven minutes all i could see was the spirit and i wanted to connect with it and protect it I saw your spirit. I want to connect with it and protect it. That's all I saw. Well, if you are not in a relationship, you can articulate to that person who they themselves might be in a relationship. Right. See, right. attractions and the need to be with people sometimes get in the way of people being with their soulmates. God. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you you start laying down with dogs, you're gonna get fleas. So you don't don't go don't go laying down with every damn thing, man. Because sometimes attractions get away from your person. And again, that comes with patience, please, right? Because patience. let's just say your person is in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You found this person, y'all had this connection, but hey, this person's in a relationship. But this shit happens, right? But I don't know if I should let you go mm. or should I be patient and wait? Mm. Because if it's meant to be, if, you, if, if it's meant to be, you're coming. Yeah, it's, you're coming. It's so, inevitable. Yeah, this shit is inevitable. So do I be patient or do I go? Mm -hmm. Do I go fuck on the, all the rest of them? And, and, May be the person, but right then and there may not be the time. Mm. So do you wait? Do you yeah, wait? I mean, wait. However you wait, you might be waiting with somebody else. <laughs> do you got to fuck somebody else? Do, it, 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 do you? It's a question. Do you have to fuck somebody else? No, you don't ever have to engage in intimacy with another person, but that's what I mean. Most people are so accustomed to doing that, that might be why they don't, yeah, most they people don't, yeah. don't, don't get to experience their actual soulmate because they've been in a bad practice of uh, sleeping yeah, with motherfuckers yeah, sleep, yeah. and sharing yeah. their soul and spirit with people they were never supposed to in the first place and get stuck with a person who is good enough. Who, who gets stuck with a person who is fucking good enough? You don't have. See, you know that you you know that comes with maturity, right? Mm -hmm. That's maturity, right there. That's mm -hmm. some that's some grown man thinking, right there. You don't have to sleep with every fucking body. Mm -hmm. and, and here's the thing: quit sleeping with every fucking body. <laughs> <laughs> quit sleeping with every fucking body. You know. Quit, <laughs> Quit getting all these soul ties. You're putting baggage. Once you once you go through a healing process, don't just add shit on. Value yourself enough not to sleep with somebody. If you find something you like, and you remember what I said just a few minutes ago, if you want something bad enough and it's something of value, you have to have patience. Shit. You don't want to. You don't want nothing that's running. If you got to go chase after some bitch, oh, I'm gonna go catch me one a night for that many women are running from you and these dudes are running from you or they just out here they looking for them I'm finna go catch me something tonight yeah you're gonna catch your std you're mm -hmm. gonna catch your baby you're gonna <laughs> catch some 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 fucked up feelings you're gonna catch some shit you didn't want you don't go chasing nothing you let it come to you and if it's meant to be it will be if it's not that's where you say your prayer lord remove anything that isn't for me from you and get it out of my way and let and let what's for you come to you. And just because you pray for it and, and, and it's coming to you and you see it coming to you, 
pump your brakes, <laughs> be patient, be patient, be steadfast, and know that as things start progressing, it may not be as fast as you want it, but like we always say, man, when you're going from A to B, motherfuckers just think you just jump from A to fucking B. It's a lot of fucking steps from A to B. So it's some work that got to be done from A to B. So take your time and get to where you're getting and do the work to get to where you're going. Because when you get there, the person who's supposed to be there for you will be there for you. Yeah. Damn, we be coming with some game, boy. For sure. Now watch the next time somebody goes somewhere and they have that experience for all the people who haven't had that experience. They go replay this in their mind and be like, damn, that's what they was talking about. Because most people yeah. haven't had that experience where they was where they where they actually saw somebody's spirit, saw somebody's soul. But it's uh it's a real thing, man. I'll just say that it's a real thing.